Welcome back for another LS7 tutorial. Today we're going to be using our tutorial property here as shown and we're going to go over the deck tool and some features. So as you can see I'm still adding a couple more building features to my property here. I have a deck over in the in the right side. It's just a small deck but I'm going to go over some tools basically how to customize that for you. Um, and just a quick note you can see that you know, I've turned off on my layer, you know, some of my tree layer around the properties because, you know, I don't really need them right now, so just, you know, just helps out a little bit. Okay, so up my ribbon tab building here, I have my deck tool, so to create a deck, and I like to do that in plan view. You can see here's my front entrance, and I want to just have, it's just a small another entrance basically on the side of the house. I want to connect this back patio to the side entrance here. So I selected my deck tool and with my, my pointer I just you know created a deck the same way you do with a patio and walkway. Okay, so let's go back into perspective view here. Now you can see right off the bat that they have a railing coming right in front of my house. Now of course the deck comes in with you know four railings, right? Four sides. So I'm gonna double click on my deck here and you can see that my points are just down the bottom here just because there's so much grade that it just appears down low, but it's the same routine as you know a patio and and things like that in a wall. So I have my points here that I could select. So now once I have it selected you can see when I hover over a railing here I have this plus and minus sign. What that does is you can add and remove railings just like so. Uh, that's cool for making you know floating decks or things like that and also you know I don't want this deck in front of my, my sliding glass door right? So now I have a nice entrance, clear entrance out. Now I chose this deck style under decking deck style because um, it really just kind of matched the decor of the house that I had built. Now you can see there's many different styles here from different railings, posts, caps, really a lot to offer. And you can just simply select one and add to scene. You can select the deck height here by simply just changing the deck height with this, with this uh, by feet and inches. You can also select all different kinds of materials for your deck floor your posts, your handrail, lower rail, balusters, and especially your support, support frame, which is really cool as well. So there's really a lot of different options to get you started with your deck here. Okay, so the last thing we need to do here is add some steps in. So we're simply going to go to deck stairs. And you can see that there's this purple cursor of this line, right, kind of around your deck here. It, kn it knows it's on a deck here. So I'm simply going to left click and you can see it comes in kind of a default that follows the grade here which is great right so you can see I've selected the deck stairs and what I'm going to do is now I'm just simply going to move this cursor a little bit over to this to this right side here and I'm going to change the width to only about four feet here Ooh, geez. not four inches but four feet <laughs> and I'm going to move it out so it's off the corner of the deck you can see how again it conforms right to the grade here. So now I have my entrance from my back patio area deck you know, to my side entrance here. And you can adjust the rise in inches, the width of the step, and the go or the tread. And you can even show select railings, you can turn them off, and you can also show both. So that's how I've created my, my deck. and. This, this property is just getting uh, more and more complete every week, guys. So uh, until next week, thanks.